good morning students today we want to discuss about the different modes of vibrations of a stretched string Let us begin with the ideal string which is a stretch to between two fixed supports. Here I will show it by means of a diagram. Let this is a string of some length say L meter it is fixed between two points say this is a P and this is a Q let this C represents the middle or the midpoint of this uh, stretch design if this string is plugged in the middle that means if you are just pushed it down once and thereafter you have left it free then it will start vibrating it will start vibrating and while vibrating it will get itself divided into number of loops Right. Here you are able to see one loop. Now there can be a formation of the two loops, there can be formation of the three loops or the four number four loops, any number of loops. Now for dealing with the most simplest case, we are considering that as if there is only one loop is going to be formed when the string is set into vibration only one loop as we know at the ends P and Q the string is unable to vibrate so this will result into the place where you will get the formation of the node here also this is the place where there is a formation of the node the particle at these two places they are permanently at rest whereas the particles in the middle they will be vibrating with maximum possible the string that we have taken into consideration is an ideal string what do you mean by ideal string the ideal string is a one which contains that's a perfect elastic property it is perfectly elastic it has a uniform diameter and third thing is it has a length large compared to It's the diameter. When these strings start vibrating, I told you that it will vibrate by producing many number of the loops. Where in this example we are we are dealing with only one loop. The velocity with which the transverse wave that travels along the length of the loop. Why I am calling it to be as a transverse wave? The reason is that you have set the particles of the string to vibrating in the direction vertical. The particles are vibrating like this. Each and every point of the string that will set into vibration, where the direction of vibration is 
vertical whereas the entire disturbance that is produced it will be traveling in this direction this is the velocity of propagation whereas this is the velocity of a wave direction direction of velocity of the vibration of so as both are perpendicular to each other which means that the given wave that is produced along the length of this string is nothing but but of the transverse wave and recently in the previous video we have arrived at an expression for the velocity of the transverse wave traveling along a stretched string the formula is written as v is equal to root of t divided by m let's call this equation number 1 what this t and what this m stands for the t is the tension applied to the string as i told you that the string is stretched between two fixed points these are the two fixed points along which the string is kept stretch so when stretching it is kept under set certain tension force that tension force under which it is kept stretch we have taken as a t t newton we can say and the second factor or second parameter m it gives you the linear density of this thing Now, what is mean by linear density? There are a variety of the densities. Like linear density is there, aerial density is there, volume density, or the space density is there. The linear density tells you about how much mass the string has got for every unit meter of its length. That means mass divided. It is measured in terms of kilogram per meter. As far as aerial density is concerned, usually aerial density is defined in case of the thin surfaces, uh, plane surfaces, where you will be using the term called as aerial density. How it is defined? It is defined as the mass of the thin plane surface per its unit area surface. Mass per unit area that gives you the aerial density. And the third is where you are dealing with the three-dimensional solids. You will be Uh, introducing the uh, new density that is a volume density or the or that is a bulk density that gives you the mass per unit volume of the given solid substance or given substance. So mass per unit length measured in meter per uh, that is a kilogram per meter. Aerial density is measured in that is a kilogram per meter square, whereas the volume density is measured in terms of kilogram per meter cube. here the length of the string it is taken very large compared to its diameter that means it is treated as a thin say if the length is 2 meter and the diameter is say 1 mm at that time the diameter can be treated as if a negligible dimension compared to the length so such string can be treated as an ideal string if it possesses the uh, it's a uniform diameter throughout the length as well as if it has got the perfectly elastic property so we have got one formula which i told you that it is a, just already derived the velocity of a stretch uh, that the transverse wave traveling along a stretch this thing is given by this here i will write velocity of transverse wave traveling on a string is a given by here i will write this this is the formula with the with the help of which it is given also somewhere in the previous classes you may have learned about that the various characteristic properties of the wave 
see that is a wave velocity that is a v then the wave length lambda and the wave of frequency these three terms here how these three are related all the three are related with the relation d is equal to f lambda sometimes this frequency may be represented by m and you may have the relation written as n lambda instead of f we have written it so velocity is available but the velocity of the transverse wave is given by this formula therefore we can write this v is equal to f lambda or it is a n lambda this v is nothing but root of t divided by m therefore i will have this n is equal to 1 upon lambda times this is at t divided by m i will get one half let us call this as the equation of life so if we check this entire vibrating string you will notice that it is a vibrating in its lowest mode that means producing only one loop so only one loop that means the length of this can be written in terms of the wavelength also the distance between any two consecutive nodes is nothing but it's equal to lambda by 2 meter this total length it's lambda by 2 meter so this l is nothing but lambda by 2 as l is nothing but for lambda by 2 therefore lambda must be equal to 2l so you will have the formula this uh, m is equal to 1 upon 2l root of t divided by this gives you the frequency of vibration of a stretched string interesting thing is that this is the most minimum possible value of a vibration frequency of vibration of a stretched string so this lowest possible frequency it is called as a fundamental fundamental frequency the lowest one here i have the lowest possible frequency with which a uh, stretched string vibrates is uh, n is equal to 1 upon 2 kilo root of t divided by m now if you check this you will notice that the different factors on which this value of n depends the factors on which n depends sometimes you may have a question like that state laws of vibration of stretch this brain you may have a separate question but state the laws of vibration of stretch this brain or discuss the different laws of vibration of this stretch this brain from this formula one thing is clear n is directly proportional to the tension value t if your m and l are constant if your m and if your m and l both are constant at that time this value of n that is frequency of vibration of the stretch this thing is a directly proportional to the square root value of the tension applied to the stem the second thing we can write it is n is inversely proportional to the root value of the n here if you are this t and l are constant the frequency of vibration varies inversely with the square root value of the mass per unit length or the linear density and the third thing n is inversely proportional to length if your t and m both are constant 
these collectively are called as the laws of the vibrations of this stretch string so two questions you may have either state the laws of vibration of the stretch string one question or the second question is that discuss the various factors that affect the frequency of vibration of this stretch string the first thing you can tell one is that the frequency of vibration of stretch string varies directly with the square root value of the tension applied but this is a conditional statement where the condition is that the mass per unit length m as well as the length of the string l must remain constant this is also referred as a law of tension remember the second one what we have already done is that the frequency of vibration varies inversely with the square root value of the mass per unit length in this case the condition is that the tension applied as well as the length of the string must remain constant this particular statement can be also referred as the law of mass and the last one the frequency of vibration varies inversely with the length of the stretched string where this t and m are expected constant this particular law is also referred as a law of length so in total there are three this is the first one is called as law of tension first one second one is called as a law of mass and third one it is called as a law of the length so in total there are three are in the simple we can write n is proportional to root t value n is proportional to one upon root of m value and n is proportional to one upon m so uh, you may be asked a question like that the discuss the different modes of vibrations of the stretch string in that case with along with this diagram you can begin with these three different set of the equations and finally you can arrive at an expression n is equal to 1 upon 2 here root of t by m and uh, further if you have got the additional question like that discuss the different laws of stretch string then by making use of this uh, last equation we can arrive at the three different uh, laws of stretch string thank you thank you mandeep